Well, hello again. The name is Floppy Sword, and I am the pimp wizard of Hogwarts. Hello, everybody. How you doing? Good to see some of you again. See some new people. Thank you, Oxy, Medusa, Buster, and I'm sure Ray is around at some point. Thank you for modding. Appreciate that. We're playing Hogwarts Legacy. We're continuing where we left off. I don't remember exactly where we stopped. We got the broom and we were flying around. Uh, hi, Bill Brooks. Good to see ya. Hola. Can't stop the flop. Hello again. Good to see ya. Nicole Ledbetter. Good to see you. Eric Frederick. Hello again. Sometimes it seems all. All right. So it looks like we're in the the village here. Illicit spell practice. Meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Double audio on my end. Is anybody else getting double audio? Hi, Andrew Walton. How you doing? Double audio. No. Shouldn't be. Hi, Stitch. Stitch! Uh, do you have your phone on Oxy plus the stream or something? All right. Okay, let's get it. It seems like an Oxy problem. It was a video in Discord playing at the same time as YouTube. Oh, okay. How's everyone doing this fine evening? We're on stream number two. I got a massive... <laughs> coffee. Um, I'm trying to... What, which? Where's my quest? Oh, that isn't it. Sorry, locals. I didn't mean to throw that. Doesn't that thing bite them? Can you pick these up after you use them? Alright, well that's fucked. Alright, Revelio. Here's this. The game seems a little little uh I think it's still loading some assets. It seems a little sketchy right now. Um I'm dropping frames a little bit. Alright, so our gear. Got some cash, 4800 bucks. Here's our wand. Got the new wand handle. We just added that, I think, at the end of the last stream or nearby. Where did I go here? Uh, handware. Everything looks all right. I think we've upgraded everything. I don't see any arrows up. Health, defense, offense is good. Broom. Oh, there's broom upgrades. I forgot about those. The perfect broom for those with a fury temperament. You can upgrade your broom at Spint Witches, Sporting Needs, in Hogsmeade. So we could buy a different broom. I think we could afford all of them if we wanted. They're a lot cheaper than uh, I was expecting. I remember that. Uh, no, audio is good for me. Okay, great. It was the video. Good. Okay. Teriyaki beef jerky. Best of both. Savory and sweet. I eat that one sometimes. Yeah, it's good. All right. Inventory. What are we carrying? I think everything's fine here. Some pages. Some ingredients. Some talents here. Let's look. Spells. Dark arts. Uh, we have no points available. We're level 14. Collections are looking good. I think I've uh, gathered all of that stuff for the collections and the challenges is good. Quest 20%. Looking good there. Just getting reacquainted here for a second. What was that? I saw some fireworks there. All right. Quest, let's see what we got active. We have quite a bit of a side list going on here. Uh, we got to complete the first keeper trial. We're going to meet Professor Weasley in the seventh floor corridor. And learn a curse with Sebastian. I knew Sebastian's would come in handy. What's up, Matt Peters? How you doing? Good to see you. Welcome to the Floppy Fam chat. This is going to be a chill stream. We're going to slow things down a little bit. No crazy ass beats or music. We're just going to use the game. We're going to do some quests. Uh, what should we start with? In the shadow of the Undercraft. I can probably find Sebastian at his usual spot near the defense against the dark arts classroom. Okay. The room of requirements. So these are all part, I think, of the main thing here, right? This is yellow. The room of requirement. Professor Weasley has requested I meet her in the seventh floor corridor of the astronomy tower. I knew she'd cave. I knew she'd want to get it on. I knew it. This is an odd location for a meeting. I wonder what she wants. I know what she wants. Lobby knows what she wants. Professor Sharp's assignment. 
Uh, Professor Sharp wants me to test myself while under the influence of both the Maxima and Eduris potions. He'd also like me to field test a focus potion. I know to find potions and recipes at J. Pippin's potions. I feel God will not guide me through this assignment, but my map could prove useful. All right, that sounds annoying. Let's not do that one. Fuck that quest for now. Demand delivering, demanding Perry Poppin of J. Pippin's potions. Jesus, that was a mouthful. I mean, I'll regarding a delivery. I should speak with him if I'm looking for some simple work. Perfect. Let's do some simple work. I feel like simple. Let's get started with some simpleage. Okay. Well, let's go for a walk. That's too bad you can't fly around inside the borders of the town. Still haven't found this unlock uh, thing. I think that'd be handy. Is it just me, or did the game's brightness change again? I feel like things are washed out a little bit looking. Maybe it's just me, though, or the time of day. I'll let it sit for a bit, but I feel like it's... Weird. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. <laughs> no I way. used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Hmm. She sounds annoying. I'd rather not deal with difficult people, but for a reward, I think I can manage. Indeed. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Wait, wait what? Ah, <laughs> uh, Megan, hello. Yellow mellow. Ah, uh, Matt Peters, good mate, been busy, so I haven't been on for a while. Missed you. Good to see you. Uh, you've been keeping up the poll requests in my absence, Nicole. What? Poll or poll? Eric, you have to learn the unlock spell. Someone should be offering it by this point or soon. Okay. Uh, Andrew, you got to talk to Mr. Moon to start a quest line that will get the unlock. Mr. Moon. I don't know if I've heard that name yet. Probably 10 times. Have not paid attention enough. All right. Let's get on with delivering three invisibility potions to Fatima Lawang. Wait, this way. Wrong way. Rebellion. Hello, buddy. I have fleas now. Oh! Really did a great job on the meow there. They spent how many millions of dollars making this game? Oh, and it's the same one for every single cat. They didn't even mix it up. Wait. Oh, I gotta go in this side. Yeah, the game looks... I don't know. It looks like the brightness is too up. Am I not supposed to go in here? Number three. House elves are wizard kind's best friend. Is that a different quest then? What? It must be a different quest. Nineteen hundred. Okay. Is that behind or inside? Rebellion. Oh, uh, what's the spell? What's my spell? Uh, number two, I think. There we go. Rebellion. Coming in the back door. Look at this place.
Hogwarts Legacy, the new open world game by Avalanche and Warner Bros. Uh, see, Discovery CNN's parent company will be released Friday. To much anticipation, the single player game has been five years in the making. Experts put its budget at 150 million. Can you imagine? 150 million dollars, and then they show you what you got for your money with the cat meow. Everything be great, and then they'd be just like, whose fucking cat was that? Ah! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> did we, uh, forgot something, folks. Okay, how do I get my broom? I already forget my broom key. Mmm. Mmm. To use all this stuff. Somebody who plays the game, tell me what the broom key is, please. Broom key with the thing and the thing and the jump and the... Somebody waiting for somebody in the chat to tell me... The broom key, is it in my inventory? One, two, three, no, it's not that. It's this. Uh, no, that's my Revelio tab three. Shit. What do you mean I can't fly yet? Am I not out? Tab plus three. Thank you. Wee motherfuckers! I forgot the wheel, uh, the wheel thing. Thank you, uh, feisty elf. Appreciate that. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. Spread my legs and f away. All right, we're making a delivery. If you're just joining us, welcome in. We're flying a broom. It's stuck in the cat's throat. That's why it sounds like that. When something gets stuck in your throat, is that what it normally sounds like? We need an expert to answer. Hey, Oxy. Um, question. <laughs> Hit the nose, flop. I'm enjoying the travel. Megan Walton. What was that? It looks like a sprout of the little shop of horrors. I didn't read the thing, I just collected the paper. Some type of witchery. place unidentified hand item wig and weld potion okay loosened house emblem scarf that is a downgrade Rebellion. ding <clears throat> got a hobbity feel doesn't it Hello?
Diamond Debonair Ensemble. Now we're talking. About time we get some dial up in this guy. Increase our defense by 10. Nice. Shit. Hey, Security35, how you doing? Good to see you. The Chinese chomping cabbage. It's an STD, says Feisty. How do you get that? The cold, I better so a pussycat has its throat full. I was in the living room and there was a delay. I'm going to do so. He was asking if cats make that meow when they have something stuck in their throat. Okay, and I would know as my cat doesn't meow, says Oxy. Yes. I was asking about the cat. I need to take this to the room of requirements. See what it is. That Pippin should have been here by now. Revelio. Where the hell is this thing? The bag up there. Oh, no alert! Oh, Is stream elements even here? I don't even know if it turned on. Nicole Ledbetter throws five dollars at floppy swords, thick, juicy thighs. Sit back, relax, and let magic come flying out the tip of Floppy's wand. Thank you, Nicole, for the $5. I don't know what to call that message. I don't know. But I appreciate the $5 donation. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's definitely a lot of magic being spread all over everybody here today. The Tilted House. The locals call this the Tilted House due to... Okay, I was reading. I hit the uh, button by accident. Okay. Thank you very much, Nicole. Ledbetter for the $5 dono. Thank you, thank you. All right. Madame uh, Lewang, okay. Madame Lewang, I have a delivery from <laughs> J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Are you guys going to fucking get it over with or what? I don't... I don't have time for this. Why did you buy them then? Yeah, let's ask. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Why, why does she talk like a Viking? Doesn't... Doesn't she tell... Doesn't she just sound like a Viking? Maybe I'm wrong on that. Like the Vikings, like the... Or like, uh, what's the other one on Netflix? The it just had its last season. The dude that takes over all that—it's the same type of thing, same type of Viking era. I can't remember the name of it. Just hit her with some potato, says Eric. Uh, drink it. Yeah, of course. Sure. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. Don't drink it. I wasn't listening. I don't. I. I, I don't know what I'm drinking. Uh, drink an invisibility potion. Okay. Where is it? Is it in my thing here? Is it in my the thing? Do I have it? I wasn't listening. What do I do? <laughs> is it in here? 
Invisibility potion, okay. The drinker turns invisible, causing enemies to immediately lose sight of them. The drinker is then imperceptible for a period of time. Okay, let's go rob this bitch. Wait, what? Nothing. Like she's gonna pay you for the empty bottle after you drink it? <laughs> Is it made with earwax? It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us have to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Um. Ashwinder eggs. Hot to the touch. One clutch of these is an ingredient for Adura's potion. Ashwinders rise from the dying embers of magical fires and then slither off to dark corners. To lay their eggs. Though usually found in dwellings. Some have da 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 da. Okay. Lacewing flies, sleeping toadstool caps, leech juice. This is stuff I can sell, right? Uh let's go ahead. This will do just fine. Thank you. I don't know what these are yet. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. No worries. Bestie. Can I not get over that? Revelio. I can't get in yet. Why does it sound like something deadly in there? Alright. Let's return to Perry po uh Perry Pippin. Revelio. Can I get in here? Botanical gold leaf. Was that a new handle? What was that? I like that better. Just like a darker version of that matches better. All right. Hi, Ray. How you doing? Just lurking around somebody's random cottage. Nice floppy. Megan. Well, how else do you find your victims? I don't, I don't understand how you find victims if you don't lurk. Rebellion. Beehives. The wizarding world needs honey. For the tea as much as the muggle world does. Right. What's this out here in the water? Yo, it's like a little whirlpool thing. Do we do it? Ugh. Uh oh, there's a motherfucker there. Where did this go? Uh oh, what did I do? Hi Ray, tell Floppy something to make his wand straight 
YouTube taking 30% by using this link. Thank you, Buster. I don't know if I was supposed to come here. I think we're ready for this. All right, let's go finish the quest. I'm getting off track. Always do it, says Feisty. That's how I got kids. They throw stuff at me? In Fury, must be struck with fire spells to make them vulnerable to other attacks. Is it the collections many to learn about enemy weaknesses? Eh. close can you get to these trees? Can you fly through them? Uh oh. I do hit them. Hi, MD. How you doing? Hi again, Ray. <laughs> Craft a hammer. See if your broom works there. It does. In furry will be a quest later. Yeah, craft 10 hammers, 40 hammers, yeah. <laughs> More hammers. Where's the ladies dorm? Just asking for reasons. Who stays up here at the top? Interesting. I can't, uh, I can't go any higher. Oh, maybe I can. Oh no, it took me back down. All right, let's get out of here. Philly up here. Peeping flop. <laughs> we know what you are using the invisibility spell for, says Feisty Elf. Flying stick, how fancy. <laughs> this fat belly. Someone just leaving coins around. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? Dude, I just talked to you like 10 minutes ago. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Buster, what's wrong with you? Well, I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. 
Um, yeah, give me more. Delivering those potions was a bit more work than I'd expected. I'd like an additional fee. I suppose that's business for you. Very well, I shall increase your pay, but I'm not at all pleased about it. Best oh. of luck with your potions, oh, I don't care. Mr. Pippin. Do take care. You couldn't deliver potions to a lady across the thing in ten minutes. Let's see. Okay. Potioneer's cap, okay. 500 bucks for that. That's better. That's better. There's so much going on in these games. This, uh... This game in Elden Ring, you can just get lost kind of looking around, huh? Alright. What's next on the docket? Let's open up the quests and see what we got. Professor Sharp's assignment. I think that was the one that's... Uh, I didn't want to do yet, right? I should let Lenora Everly know that I've solved the mystery of the painting. Oh yeah, right. That was an easy one. Let's go finish that one. Let's clear up some loose ends here. Rebellion. Yeah, whatever. Accio. I thought that was a little butterfly. It's one of the papers. Rebellion. Accio. Okay. Noise. Did I not go down here? Oh, okay. I'm stuck on the ledge. I've never seen firewood stacked above the mantle before, lol. Let's kill Gorian. It's just to ensure that if there is any fire that's Sometimes out of control, it seems all roads lead it'll to absolutely kill you. You want to just make sure that, yeah, you just stack dry wood right above the fireplace. So if there is an accident, you don't have to struggle. You just let it take you. You could just put a fan on it as well. Muggle asks, does your broom ever get tired? Fluffy replies, if you spent hours a day between someone's legs, you'd be tired too. You guys are sickos. A lot of sickos in chat today. Impure. Y'all need Jeebus. Little Jeebus in your life. You can't enter. Oh, fuck off. I'm in the courtyard, man. You know what? You know you want the most floppy merch in the world. Holy shit, Bill. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Bill Brooks throws forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents at Floppy Sword's thick, juicy thighs. It was a ten dollars dono, but Floppy hit me up for more. Bill Brooks, are we friends in real life? Do I know you? <laughs> you don't. Okay. Thank you, Bill, for the fucking crazy forty nine ninety nine. Bill is Mrs. Flavia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's just recycling my donuts. I'm losing money out of my bank account because YouTube takes 30%. <laughs> Thank you, Bill, for the $49.99. You've been donating like crazy. It's been too much, but it's very appreciated. Thank you. $49.99, dude. Thank you. Uh, NetSmart, I'll drag my propane tanks near the fire too for an extra kick. 
This is can't stop the flop. MD, what's the difference between roast beef and pea soup? Anyone can roast beef. But I don't know anyone who can pea soup. I'll take that challenge. Matt Peters, dirty depraved mud bloods. Got some Harry Potter nerds in the chat too. Thank you, Bill. Uh, do you want to know him, Ass, right? No. But I like you and what you're growing here. Want to see you meet your goals. Thank you, Bill. I uh, know, but I, I do have an old friend uh, that he reminds What's me of. Up to now? So I was asking. Uh, it's something uh, that person would do, but it's just a coincidence. Thank you, Bill. I'm not a nerd. I'm a nerd. Nothing wrong with being a nerd. There's just different types of nerds. Rebellion. Green striped gloves. Okay. Locked. He'd be level 16 here. Miss Flip Flop, give him money without you two taking 30%. <laughs> Thank you, Buster. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I forgot I can just use the map, right? And, like, zoom over there. Uh. Oh, she's right over here. How was that? Look at these guys crossing swords. Oh shit. Like they had fun stabbing each other. <laughs> give it to me, give it to me, she yelled. I'm so wet, give it to me now. She could scream all she wanted, but I was keeping the umbrella, says Nicole. Rebellion. Jeepers, Nicole. I was scared there reading that because I didn't read ahead. You, you took me on a terms of service scare. <laughs> Bill is getting us one step closer to that in the hot tub bikini ASMR video. That's it. From now on, every dono is going towards a statue like this. I'm going to build this statue in my house. It's going to look ridiculous. I'm just going to put it right in the middle of our living room. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? Should we be a dick? I'm not telling. Hmm. I followed the clues. Fine. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide him off back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! That's it. I should have seen that. Complete side relationship quest, okay. Oxy, don't be a dick. Okay, fine. Sarah, uh, has his wand out, taming strange, I see. 
<laughs> Megan, wow, that's killer. I like the map you. I haven't seen it yet. I hated it at first. It was a bitch to navigate, but now it's okay. I'm used to it now. Now that I'm familiar with what's what and what's going on, it's okay. Uh, and you also have the Hogsmeade map, which is the town as well. Okie dokie, sir. We just cranked out two quests. Looking good. Look at this place. Have you ever been to the uh, Venetian in Las Vegas? This is like the Harry Potter version of that. Tono alert. Feisty elf throws $5 at floppy sword's thick juicy thighs. Statue of the floppiest sword. <laughs> Made out of rubber. Big old silicone skin sensitive rubber <laughs> or whatever the fuck. <laughs> Thank you, Feisty Elf, for the $5. Appreciate that. Uh, Nicole Ledbetter, they say that during sex, you burn off as many calories as running eight miles. Who the hell runs eight miles in 30 seconds? <laughs> okay, let's see another quest. What else is on our to do here? Cash in the castle. It looks as if I'm supposed to find a dragon fountain. The tree in the background makes me think that it's in the courtyard. A door behind it has been circled. Find the second landmark from Arthur's treasure map. That kind of sounds like fun. Do a little treasure one. I wasn't in the mood last stream, but it's Valentine's Day and I've been worked into the mood. I'm loosened up. I'm all greased up and ready to go. Searching for some treasure. Ghost of our love. Okay. The map portrays a forest. Wait, we have two different uh, things here. Okay. The map portrays a forest, bridge, and candles. I uh, put it into my bag for reference. Use the map with floating candles to find the treasure. And here we have spell combination practice two. The crossed wands club meets regularly in the clock tower. I should be able to find Lucan Brattleby there. Talk to Lucan. All right, let's get this one done. Let's see what we got. Do, 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 do. Spell combination practice. Yeah, it's that one. Okay. Click on it and we'll click the nearby blue. Lord Death, you're here. What's up, bro? How you been? Good to see you. Hope your day went well. I agree. I love my coffee as dark as my soul, says Megan. Gold's on fire tonight, says Bill. Agent Hawk. Hey, Mr. Flop. Hi there. Did you know why or how? The fuck I know you? Well, that day I got some remarkable nightmares, dude. Guess why? Tell me. Is this like Batman Riddler shit? Like, you're gonna try to kill my family or something? Agent Hawk. Did you know why or how the fuck I know you? Well, that day I got some... Remarkable nightmares. Remarkable nightmares. Is this like a clue? What's happening here? Hi, Agent Hawk. Hey, Mac89, what's up? No, man, nothing wrong. Something related with P. Urge. Something. Okay. I'm going to talk to this guy now. Bye. Hello, Lucan. <laughs> I'm ready for practice. Glad you're keeping at it. Shall I fetch the dummy? Um, wait. Was it? Did I talk to the wrong guy? Perhaps later. What? Actually, I might come out later. That's fine. Oh, come this is the right guy. My ready. bad. Shit. I gotta do the practice on the dummy, I see. I wasn't paying attention. Hello, Lucan. I'm ready for practice. Glad you're keeping at it. Shall I fetch the dummy? Megan, I've been to the Venetian in Las Vegas and it's really weird because it'll be dark outside, bro. Be day and s that stroke. And it's like, it's actually daytime. Yeah. The painting's pretty cool. Of the ceiling. That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. 
Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Burr, 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 burr. Cast Asio, Incendio, and Levisio in a combo. I don't know the names of stuff. Are you kidding me? Accio is the pulley one, is it? Incendio is the f the fire one, maybe? Is it this? Incendio. And then this one? Yeah, we did it. Sweet. That's it. You know what? Uh, cast Levioso and perform a basic three cast three times. Assy, assy, asshole and incendi hole in a combo, okay. Uh, so. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. Get, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. Do I even have it equipped right now? Wrong button. What are we equipped right now? button too many times. Okay. It's Mortal Kombat right now. I'm playing Mortal Kombat. Remember button sequences. Complete the spell combination. Is it fucking loud in here? Is it just me? Holy shit. Complete the spell combinations before the dummy hits the ground. Oh, now they're not even telling me the thing. Okay, to this one and this one. So it's uh, this Accio. one. Incendio. Incendio. Fucking Excellent. easy game. Game's so easy. <laughs> Impressive wand work. I take to face you in a duel. Yeah, the music is loud, isn't it? Um, I find, I find the music, uh, all the audio is super loud since you guys asked me to pop it up the last time I played it or the time before. It seemed louder than other games. Like you wanted it louder. Uh, you wanted it loud, didn't you? You got this. Thanks, can't stop the plop. Nicole, why did the magnet hit on the refrigerator? You found her to be very attractive. Nice. Hey, Mac, will... My advice of the day is don't get married. It's not worth it at all. <laughs> See y'all later. And thank you for attending my TED talk. Says AMAC89. Fantastic. This is a life or death floppy mess him up. The music is kind of loud. Uh, if you hate this, just stay the fuck right here. That was Wombo Combo. Wish I had the advice sooner, though, AMAC. Oh, let's see. Impressive wand work. I'd hate to face you a duel. Face you in a duel. I uh, could have done it without you. It was just a dummy. Oh, couldn't have. Okay. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Even though you won the tournament already, I'm glad to see you haven't stopped training. Stay sharp, my friend. Thanks, dude. Press complete spell combination practice two. All right. We're doing pretty well here, clearing up some side quests. Feeling good. All right. Incendi hole sounds like what you get when your Mexican friend orders out a taco truck and yells, tells you that it's not hot. You'll be fine. Hint, learn Spanish, but don't tell them, says Salem. Talents. One talent point. What should we put it in? Should probably still work on some core stuff, huh? Oh. 
Holding down dodge allows you to vanish quickly and reappear nearby. I don't know if I want that one. Uh, one second, YouTube's trying to show some stuff here. Let me delete that. All right, no ads for you. If you get an ad right now, let me know. You shouldn't get an ad. I think I blocked it. Wigan Weld heals you to greater effect. Oh, we already got that one. As I say, that's probably a good one. New spell set is added. Probably a good thing. Ancient magic throw expertise. Uh, um, I mean, let me see spells here. Enemies near a target summoned by Asio are also pulled to you. Enemies near a target limited by Levioso are also... Okay, yeah, I like that one, actually. That's kind of cool. That's a good one. Yeah, I like that. I'd probably just save it till you level and can do the higher ones. Yeah, I liked that one, though. I think that one was kind of worth it. What do we get here? The Lucky Leprechaun Gloves. All right. Collections. All right, enough of that. Uh, let's go back, look at quests here quick. Uh, quests, and we have these ones, which I don't think any of them are... Here, let's find this. Let's do this one. The cache in the castle. It looks as if I'm supposed to find a dragon fountain. So we're looking for a dragon fountain in a courtyard. Courtyard. Okay, how do we get there? This one here. There's a few courtyards. There's one behind us. One there, one there, one there. All right, let's look behind us then first, I guess. I need the lock. Yeah. Wasn't the first clue... I think I found it right here. I think. Find the second landmark for Arthur's. What's down here? Okay. Rebellion. Can I lift that up? Accio. Incendio. Revelio. Hmm. I mean, it's a dragon, isn't it? I can't say I've ever been assaulted by an ad watching your streams. Um, yeah, I don't... I try not to play them. You might get one at the beginning or end. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I didn't know my condolences. What did I miss? I missed something. Rebellion. Let's get out of here. Do, 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 How nice to see you, my young friend. Shut up. Okay, let's try the other one here. I don't know if there's a main courtyard or not. It might be this one. That's the next one we're coming into now. Get out of here. How'd I get over there? Uh, Rebellion. 
Look at that stud. That is a confident mermaid man. Okay. Number three. What the hell? This is a snake, right? Not a dragon. Is it a dragon? Rebellion. Doesn't everything look like a fucking dragon? Alright. Incendio. Do you not light those on fire? Why is he highlighted? Incendio. Uh, I don't know. Um, I think you need to be in another spot. Fluffy, later you can use Crucio in those. Okay, thank you. So, fuck this then. So, we're still looking for this dragon, though, in a courtyard. Okay. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. It's cool, I haven't been here yet. Did those just stick out? What was that? Revelio. Look at this fucker. How do I learn to do that? Haven't you heard of Gamp's law? I tried to transfigure my parchment into a blanket. Once the little nap. Would have been fine if I hadn't caught fire. The most I've ever been able to conjure was a single quill. Love you also on the statues. I'll ever master that one. My brother caused a lot of trouble in Professor Weasley's class. Let me also. Uh, the ones that I passed or what? Rebellion. Do 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 anything off here? Do 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 do. Okay, fine. I'll leave you alone. Sorry, wrong button. Uh. Five hundred bucks. Nice. Leviosa is the word in the books. Did you want to continue to show off Ray or? Leviosa. First try. Uh, little, 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 yes, floppy, broaden your mind, says Megan. Listen, I broaden my mind just fine. Sometimes I go into some serious subcategories on prawn hub okay i brought in my mind just fine highly educated in certain areas Hit. 
Revelio. I don't think there's a dragon here. Yes, 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 yeah, yes, and a million times, yes. Wait, 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 wait. What is qu qu Quidditch? It's, um, it's basically... Uh, what's this? Revelio. Is that a horse dragon? Like this unicorn horse thing is like asking for you know this is a this is a loner on valentine's day it's looking for some love look at that thing that is the pose of a horse unicorn thing looking to get it on buenas hola fluffy and fam hi freeman1971 how you doing Good to see you. Fluffy, after saying that about broadening your mind, now say hi to your daughter's boyfriend who is now hooked on watching your streams. The Salem. You fucking lay one finger on her. Guess what, fuckface? The door stays open always. Always. 13 years old. 16 years old. 21. 40 years old. 65 years old i'll still be dragging my legs across the floor keep them both healthy diabetic free eyes right directly looking into your fucking eyes keep your fingers off my daughter thank you salem for bringing that up appreciate that love you on a unicorn that's ironic Doing well. Day started out frustrating. Spent two hours trying to sign into my new internet account. Finally got it sorted out. Good. That's good. You got it settled. I don't even know if we're in a courtyard anymore. We didn't look down at the other end of this. Let <laughs> I don't like the way that owl's looking at me. Look like you've seen a ghost. Rebellion. Finally. Get away! All of you! Are they from the restricted section? No. And none of your business. There you are. Sneaking past me. I know. And taking dangerous books. They are from the restricted section. Yes. I mean, shut up. Enough! Here. Perhaps you'll find sweeping the courtyard more productive. What, me? Use a broom, not to fly. That is what I said, and let this be a lesson to all of you. Off limits means off limits. <laughs> Ugh, feel like a muggle. I got a look at one of them. Saw something about the Cruciatus curse. I did. Oh, shut up. <sighs> Reading can be as magical as any spell. Why can't students see that? The hell is that thing? I don't I don't like this part. You're kind of restricted to where your movement a little bit. Like you can't um jump over things like that. Revelio. Was that ding? I never thought I'd actually enjoy it. Off on another adventure, are we? Actually, I think there was a picture, wasn't there? 
in the uh, inventory. Uh, none of these, is it? Which one is it? Which one are we doing right now? Arthur's? I think it uh, it's Arthur that we're doing. Yeah, Arthur's treasure map. Uh, so we want this one, F, to view. So this is what we're looking for. So, it's in a containment here with a door behind it. Leviosa! Stravinsky, can you fly yet? A lot quicker. Yes, we have the broom now. We don't have the mount yet, but that's all right. Was that student walking on the wall? Yes, indeed, Freeman. I don't like the... You can't break your legs, LOL. This is my seal. Say, floppy boys and girls, are you leaving? Hey, Mac. By seal, add, add spells to your second row of four. Make me. Fucking make me. Yeah, I will. I'll get there. Alrighty. Is that the one that the Weasley teacher made you do a spell on at the beginning? Can somebody answer Medusa? I, uh... I don't remember things. What the fuck? Hello. Chang, chang, chang. We're just kind of running around uh, randomly at the moment. Looking for a courtyard. So that's where we were just now. I think we went the wrong way. Find the second landmark from Arthur's thing. Okay. Just says it's in a courtyard. Find the second landmark. Hold on. Find a dragon fountain. The tree in the background makes me think that it's in a courtyard. A door behind it has been circled. Right. Yeah, I want to go that way. Let's do this. I'm over this already. We'll come back to it. Maybe we'll just keep an eye out for it while we're doing another quest. That's probably the best bet. We'll just run around instead of uh, transport all over the place. Fast travel. What the hell was that? Oh, this guy. I want to kill him. I want to cut his head off in Ghost World. In a video game, though. Not real. YouTube. Rebellion. Slithery common room. Titwas. This is a skeleton of an Irish phoenix or augury. An intensely shy bird who can forecast the coming of rain and whose mournful cry 
It's once believed to foretell death. So there, there's the third uh, thing on our list. It's that. Revelio. Serpentine Beast Window. Although Slytherins like to think this window is somehow a tribute to their house founder, it's actually a serpentine beast coiled around a tree that extends from the mouth of the legendary Green Man. Lord Death, told you you would like the dorm door to dorms. Yeah, it is cool. Megan Walton, the danger noodle, has made sure to let you know that passage has assured. To call that better, I would like to answer your Medusa, but I don't know. Freeman 1971, did they ever say how Peeves came to be at Hogwarts? I don't think it said it yet. Not that I know of. Agent Hawk, could anyone tell me what exactly floppy means? A loose, deflexible, or frail? Does anyone want to take a turn? How do you keep a jewelry store safe on Valentine's Day? You lock it. Nice one. Nice one. Uh, Agent Hawk. Um, I mean, theoretically, Agent Hawk, if you were to lay on your back and uh, you were, you know, wearing your birthday suit and you uh, happen to be one of the type of people that have a cock uh, and it's flaccid um, and you take it and it you shake it around and it well that movement that would be uh, that would be floppy Over here. There's a lot of words in there for you to look up, probably. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did. Something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. Lord Death, more than three shakes. A secret passage just here. Is a wank. It's well disguised. I only wank. <laughs> uh. Rebellion. Holy shit, we're in the Chronicles of Narnia. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. 
Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. The Bukaki uh, spell? <laughs> Buster got that word in my head now. Fuck sakes. Fireman, probably a worker who met untimely. Or death, yes, more than three is definitely spanking it, says Nicole. Agent Hawk, you mean a wanker? Uh, haha, I was asking serious just to improve my voc, dude. Yeah, I gave you a serious answer. And no, we didn't mean wanker. Wanker would be like someone who's a dickhead. Uh, we meant wank, which means like, you know, pulling your pork or. Slapping your salami, or uh, a happy slap, or choking the chicken, or uh, uh, preparing the pickle. I don't, I don't know. Right. Professor say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. Ah, whatever. Fuck it. Let's go. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Confrigno. Lou Confrigno. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candles. Uh, conf config, conf config, configro. So we should have two spell things here. We should have like just pure damage and hellfire, and then like I don't know some other shit. What's this one? Dio. Damage. We probably want to use them with the combos though, don't we? Yeah, this isn't gonna work. Livioso control. So we want to throw them up. Uh, this one is... Uh, so some of the, okay, let me read these quickly. Because some of them are a little similar. Levitates objects and enemies useful for solving puzzles or surprising enemies alike. Uh, summons a variety of objects and enemies to close range. Certain magical and heavy things. When a summoned object reaches you, you will automatically cast Wind Guardium Leviosa to continue levitating and controlling it without the need for additional button input. So this is like a twofer. It's like a two for one thing. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Confringo! Nice work! How does it feel? It's a tad hot. You're good. That's it! I think I've got it. 
Well done. Damn, that's pretty nice. Check bath back with Sebastian, are you? I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. Hmm. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. Whatever, man. It's all going to lead to the same ending, probably, right? I don't know if there's multiple endings, but fuck it. Whatever, dude. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... I, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Roger Dodger. Head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Is there anything in here? Rebellion. I'm gonna take everything. Let's grab this chest. Professional blazer uniform. Island. We have this chest here. Hunter fingerless gloves. Was there another thing here? Third thing? There it is. Let's grab this. Cash. Cold hard cash. And let's just try to kill this guy. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Man, I miss watching that show as a kid. What show is that? Do, 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 do. I hope Hogwarts has their fire insurance paid up. I'm going to burn this place down. A lot of brick, though. Somewhere that just want to watch the world burn, says Buster. Believe it or not, I watch that, too. Maxwell and his dog treats. Uh... I'd love for there to be a remake of it. Owen Wilson and Tommy Lee. I don't. I didn't even catch what we're talking about. I'll let you all continue that one. Gear. Uh, that's not an upgrade. Suck my D. All right. Equivalent. We have uh, superb, extraordinary. Greatest American Hero. 
The Incredible Hulk, Flavi. Lou Ferrigno. Is your name Chapstick? Because I think you're the bomb, says Nicole Ledbetter. With the dear Lord joke of the night. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there. I can hear you. Oh, uh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Wait, what did Sebastian... Am I not supposed to tell this guy or tell him? What's up, Carol Lacomba? The Incredible Hawk TV show and the remake I mentioned was the greatest American hero. I never saw the remake. I've never heard of that show in my life. Tell no one, says Medusa. Even if I say I stumbled upon it. These are both yes. They're both yeses. Wouldn't tell fuck all. <laughs> that room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. You know, have you ever watched that Van Wilder movie where they uh, they take their dogs and they jack them off into those like those desserts, and then they send them off to the to the other dorm with the assholes in them, and they just munch them down, and well, that's soon needed here, I think. The way people have been talking to me lately. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. It was a Ryan uh, uh, Reynolds movie, one of his earlier movies. All about this. Kind of put him on the map. We got a talent point. Nice. We up, up, uh, leveled up. So we found this thing, which is right outside the Undercroft. So we look at the map. Hopefully it's listed. Is it a side quest? Spare a moment. I could use your help. You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. Movie was based off of Bert. I believe that. I don't uh, follow much, but Tom Segura, big fan. Bert's uh, Bert's interesting. Chris, hey Flabby, hi Chris. MD, uh, no. <laughs> Voldemort's little father. Hi, Merlin. I've heard uh, all about you, of course, confronting trolls and dragons. Had some luck? I suppose it must seem that way. I'm not sure it's justified. It's often been a matter of circumstance. I'm going to presume your reputation is, in fact, warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a... a puff scheme. Hmm. 
Are you afraid of your own shadow, too? Surely you're joking. You can't possibly be afraid of a puff scheme. It may seem irrational to you, but my experience with them has been most upsetting. They eat bogeys, you know. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, but you have to admit that's rather clever. I do not have to admit that. Everett said the same thing. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think since I have been in the hidden herbology corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. <sighs> What sort of plants should I expect in the Hidden Herbology Corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Why should you fall in love with a pastry chef? He'll never desert you, says Nicole. A little ball of fluff. Yeah, I'm scared of everything. I'll see what I can do. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Okay. Venomous Valor. Let's head over. We're going to find and enter the hmm. hidden herbology corridor. Hidden herbology corridor. Sounds intriguing. We're going to reveal you all over some shit. Oh my god! We did it! There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. Excuse me. This is the third thing, isn't it? What? Hmm. I don't think I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is the first one I already found, but I thought I found the first one outside of a, uh, the courtyard. Inventory... Uh, Arthur's map view. Maybe we already got this one. Is this not it? It's pointing at the stairs though, isn't it? Or does this thing turn? What does that mean? You're not on that quest? I know, but it should still activate, no? Actually, is this even the right one? The stairs aren't behind it, like the picture shows. I don't think this is the right one. Just discovered your channel, and I've been watching nonstop. Keep up the good content. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate it. What have you been watching? Just everything, or have you been watching a certain game? All right, let's get back to the last quest. I don't, I don't, I don't know if this is the right one or not. To be honest. Accio. Revelio. All right. Look at the map again. What am I looking for? We found two of the three clues. <clears throat> I just need the last one. Does it show like a hint somewhere? Secret room. No, the picture map. Gotcha. Uh, na, 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 na. Yeah, it looks like the same thing here, but this 
Oh, maybe that's going down. It looked like it was going up. Or it's indicating... I don't know. I don't know what it's indicating. Uh, door behind here. Uh, and then a picture thing. I think this is the one we did first. I could be wrong. And then this, and now this is the last thing. Fluffer Nutter, says Carol. What a great name. Somebody should name their dog that. Nicole, why should you never laugh at your significant other's choices? Because you're one of them. I knew you with the yellow nightmare game or it's just a little different than this stuff I guess uh, dead probably brought me to the channel but I've been watching practically everything cool thank you that is awesome well if someone gets stuck <laughs> I need to destroy, burn it. Good for you. Perfect. Where's that gargoyle come from? Rebellion. A hundred and forty-two staircases, and this is where they put me. That young'un's now a teacher herself. All right, I, I'm not quite sure where that last uh, clue is. We'll, we'll get back onto that in a minute. Uh, what were we finishing here? This one. Venomous Valor. So we're going to do that little favor for the dude. Find the hidden herbology well, room. Cobbled up by your own fanged geranium. And this was the dragon, right? And then it had a door behind it circled. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? The what? 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 Who now? Is everything all right? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumor is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Just give it some wine. Okay, why would a headmistress do such a thing? Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. He's a poltergeist. I thought they could go almost anywhere. Interesting. Surely you will be trying to complete the challenge as well. Ah, uh, I've tried. And I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. I hope you follow a few keys at least. If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. The hell was that? Is that one of the keys? Stella, 
Oh, looks promising. Yeah, so the door was circled in that Arthur treasure map thing. But what looks promising? What did he what did he say? That what looks promising? The door? Did he say door? Summoner's Court. How many things are we up? Jesus, we're doing three, four quests at once here. Have you attacked a suit of armor? I think I've... I've done that, yeah. Stairwell. You guys keep saying a word. Stairwell. The stairs. What does that mean? What do you mean? Urn of Ashes. This particular urn is rumored to have once borne the inscription Pioneer in Dragon Taming. Should not have started with the Hungarian Horntail. Oh, the stairs looked interesting. Thank you. I thought you were telling me to do something with the stairs. And where was I standing when he said that? Right... Right here, right? Stairs look interesting. Hmm. Oddly quiet Revenue. in here. Lock. All right, let's get back on track here. Uh, we'll come back to this. Not quite sure what it wants me to do with the treasure map thing here. Let me look at the quest if it updated at all. Nope. Final clue shows a painting with a ring at the top. Oh, okay. I should search the area. I have a feeling it's nearby. Here, let's go back to where he commented. Wait, where was I? I'm lost. Oh god, what did I do? It was down here, right? I think it was this way. So I think it's th it's this one, right? We need to find the butterfly for that, maybe? Because it looks like it's... um. If we look at... Wrong button. So I think we're looking for this one, right? So that's not the butterfly thing. It's using the finger movements on a picture, it looks like. Not that one. The stairs look interesting, so we'll probably end up going up or down there. Looking for pictures. Pictures, 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 pictures. This room's cool. Rebellion. 
History of Magic Windows. This set of stained glass windows features Merlin, the four Hogwarts founders, and various other witches and witches, uh, uh, wizards of the ages. Here you got like and sub. I'm not a very like and sub person, but let's flap the floppy, says Agent Hog. Now you're getting it. Thank you very much, Agent Hog. Appreciate that. Alright, well, fuck this room. Yeah, I don't see any paintings that look like the one in the picture. Stairs are interesting. Let's try up first, I guess. And even this one doesn't look like the picture. Yeah. Okay. This looks like the portrait from the map. I was right here. And where's the treasure? What? Didn't we just fucking what, run by this? We did it. Uh -huh. <laughs> there was a doorway hidden within the portrait. Damn, that's cool. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Authentic historian's uniform. Return to Arthur Plummy. We did it. Had not to Valentine's 11 year anniversary stuff. Have a great stream. Bye, Floppy fam. Have a great anniversary and Valentine's feisty elf. Thanks for being here. Thanks for everything. Appreciate it very much. Is your arrow pointing the way? No, it's not. That's a different quest. The one, the quest that I, was, I just did didn't have uh, directions for it. I think that's a different one that we're on, we're selected right now. Right now it's it's oh sorry now it's selected after I just found it, uh, but that was a different quest we had selected. Return to Arthur Plum Plumley. Now it's good. How far away is this? Hurt. <laughs> Hopefully not, Buster. Hopefully not. Listen, being floppy is the the outcome, okay? You guys have it all wrong. You're you're thinking of it like it's a a condition. I supposed to catch that thing? Bug author Arthur Finders Keeper says Lord Death. Agent Hawk, Jesus! Now I get the Valentine stuff. All of you speaking about. So today was Valentine's Day, February fourteenth, and I just realized. Yes, indeed. It's not too late, Agent. You could still buy your hand some flowers. <laughs> I haven't seen a pussy disappear that quickly in years, says Bill Brooks. the pussy that's a nice cat I like that cat a little Bengal look to it Bengal <laughs> 
This is the first one we found, right? We didn't know how to do it. Da, 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 da. Revelio. Framed portraits. All right. Did we get a new outfit? I don't know if it was better in uh, statistics here. Was it a robe? Maybe we didn't get it. I thought we got one. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pam Palma <laughs> Pamela Anderson says Salem, yeah. I haven't heard that in a while. Light a candle and dip your hand in warm, soapy water for that Valentine's spar experience, LOL. Uh, says Medusa. Alright, let's see. Over here. A different pussy we gotta touch. Floppy loves us more than Mrs. Flop, says Sir Mustard. Oh. Why do you say that? Oh, because it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> what have you learned? Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky! Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's office might yield anything interesting. What pussy do you touch? Is there like a achievement you get if you touch all the pussy? Guess not. Okay. Striped school robe. So this one is better. We haven't applied any uh, traits yet. I haven't done that. All right, we have to redo our whole outfit now because we got. Wait, where'd I go? What? What are you doing? Get back here. Yeah, you get crabs, bro. Says my dad. Make them purr. Says Bill Brooks. Uh, but Floppy is streaming with us misfits than spending time with Lady Flop. Well, Sir Mustard, I... I bought her brand new pajamas. Leopard print. Head to toe. Uh, I reserved a fine dining reservation at her favorite restaurant for Friday. And then after Friday, I bought tickets to a hockey game right behind the home team's bench. And I booked a Las Vegas trip for uh, July. So that was Valentine's. She's spoiled, I'm telling you. Okay, let's get our gear in order here. So she's fine if I stream right now. Oh, let's see. Back, bitch. Back here. Chris, don't have to flex so hard. Jeez. <laughs> I just didn't want you to think I'm, ab I'm abusing the flop, Mrs. Flop, the little, the little flopper. Okay, we'll go with these. Now we'll go with the dark. 
Do we go with the extras, like the... Do we do motocross or do we do OJ, OJ Simpson? We'll do OJ for a bit. What's this one? Fuck, I fucked up. Uh, the scarf kind of works still. It's not bad. Ah, uh, face wear. I hate these glasses. But they're probably the best I've seen so far in the game. We haven't seen a whole lot, though. I'm on the wrong tab here. Maybe we did get some new ones. What the hell are these? Oh my god, when did we get these? Not sure if a hockey game would be incentive enough for me. To for what? Sir Mustard, so much for trying to feel special. Sir Mustard, you're not special to me. You're nothing to me. All you are is another view on my concurrent viewers counter. You mean nothing. Just kidding, I love you. Where, where the hell did we get this? Where did this stuff come from? No, I, I'm. She, she legit let me stream tonight, though. We're doing stuff on Friday. Uh, she's taking the son to a hockey game tonight, so I'm thanking her very muchly. In all seriousness, I was joking uh, for letting me stream tonight because I wanted to. We haven't done it in a couple days, so instead of uh, me heading to the son's game, I'm gonna be going to one on Thursday. He has another one, um, so I, I won't be missing that one. What a creepy fucking what is this? But uh yeah, she's uh she's loosened up the the ball and chain and let me scream tonight. Let's back this up. I don't know what I'm creating right now, but What kind of party we're going to? We need a quest. Quest. Uh, is that your wand, or are you just happy to see us? That's Merlin. Uh, no, it's a cock. It's a full-blown cock. Uh, let's see. Summoner's Court. Someone is looking for a new opponent. That's cool. Ghost of Love. Map Trays of Forest. That's the other one, right? So this is the Herbology one. Action. <laughs> Do mot motocross uh, flying when you <laughs> with your broom? Yeah, that's a good idea. MD. It's pretty nice out here. There was a glitch with the game. Let me try something. Let me see how good this looks. Uh... Saving. Complete. Just in case the game crashes or anything weird. I had to turn my settings down to low. To get the game to work fine. Even though the, it was running... Um, like it wasn't like a performance issue on my GPU. Let's try a little ultra here. Put some ray tracing on. Let's apply this and see what happens. If the desired quality settings exceed those recommended for your hardware, you may experience lower performance. All right, the stream might drop, folks. Hold on to your tatas. I just want to see what happens. Let's 
See here. The hell, I'm running better. No, it's a little stuttery. I'm still hitting 60 frames. It's just a little stuttery. It's dropping a bit. <clears throat> Does this even look that much different? I honestly don't notice much of a difference between ultra with ray tracing and like the fucking low settings. Is it bugged? Feels weird. To apply setting changes, restart. Oh, did I not read that? Is that what it said last time too? My chat is lagging. It must have been working because the uh, frames were dropping. But anyway, all right, let's get back on track. Find enter the hidden herbology corridor. Let's run through this place. <laughs> uh oh, wrong way. I know we can fast travel, I just kind of want to look at some stuff. Rebellion. Incendio. Uh, is there a flame we haven't found upstairs? It looks like there's a gray one there. Oh, because it's locked. Revelio. What is it? Is that thing friendly? Expelliarmus! Does it like that? Accio. I can't tell if it's pissed off or orgasming. Rebellion. Can't hold my Tata. She's in the room. This Buster. Yeah, to re restart last time. All right, maybe that's why it was. Maybe that's why I didn't change then. Hey fam, steal your mom or dad's phone, maybe sister or creepy uncle, and like this stream, Sister Mustard. Don't confrigo it, says Freeman. Okay, I'm on my way to confrigo it. I don't know why you would say that. Confrigo. Wait, 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 wait. Did it just... Oh, okay. Nah, this is about the same. Glum bubbles. Glum bubbles are magical flying insects that produce a tri treacle, which will cause melancholy if consumed. They feed on nettles and nest in dark and secluded places. Oh, unfortunately, they are known to and must be hard. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, we need to find the secret 
entrance. The hidden herbology corridor. Now, is it... There's a down arrow, so is it below us? Does that mean it's below us? These Here. dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Wow. So, uh... So hidden. Who the hell couldn't find this? There's like four branches in front of it. Do 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 do. How's everyone doing tonight? It's good to see you. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. If you haven't liked this stream, maybe consider it. It's free. It feels good inside to like stuff. And uh, you'll probably get recommended more of my videos. Which probably isn't a good thing. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Um. I appreciate it. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Luminufufufus. Was the wrong one. Lumos. None of these kids roam in the halls. Seem to be acing Hogwarts, says Bill. God. My intestines when it sees a vegetable. Obtain proof for Duncan. Where do we go here? Revelio. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted either. Lumos. God damn, this is gross. The devil's snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Unidentified hand item. Accio. Lumos. Mm, let's get that fire burning. Incending. Incending. Is there a point to this? I guess I was probably supposed to light those before I went across. Is that it? Is that... I don't get it. Alright. Hope there's not any long sticks in here, Floppy. This Freeman. <laughs> Hogwarts offer a lot of extra credit work, it seems. They're very, uh, yeah, free. Everywhere, bro. Go everywhere. Hand job, sweet I'm in. So it's more death. Magic roots for magic weeds. Check that picture. Says Ray.
It's like a chalkboard or a mirror or something. Rebellion. Levioso. <laughs> Repairer. Hmm. Incendium. Not sure. Could bring them. Lumos. Oh, there's uh oh, they're just everywhere, I see. Incendium. Did we miss some? I don't even know if it matters. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Incendium. Elect a giant venomous tentacle leaf. Is that an angry vagina flower? Or do you want me to, uh... You probably want to be invisible, right? Yoink! Fuck it, just burn it. it says, uh, burn the school down. The Lord dead. Uh, it looks like if I try to watch live, it lags, but if I let it hold back for about 15 seconds behind, it runs smooth. Weird. Uh, let me see. No, it says YouTube's good. Excellent connection here. Not quite sure. Uh, zero frames dropped, so... Yeah, I haven't had any stream problems. That plant reminds me of my ex-wife for some reason, Fluffy Swords. This is Charlie Foxtrap. Good night, Carol. How you doing? Have a good one. Hope you had fun. Holy shit, I have a full coffee here from McDonald's that I forgot about. Oh my god, it's frozen, but it's delicious. Boring. Where's this sending me out here? I miss having my own bedroom. I'm going to recreate this someday. And another. Yes, another inflating charm. How many times do I have to tell you not to use it on other people? You've let me down, and you've let yourself. Nobody can let Mrs. Doraway down. Who the hell's all who's talking? Your fault. What the fuck? All right. <laughs> Return to Duncan. I could just start. Fa I'll start fast traveling soon. I'm enjoying the scenery here. Have you found anything to uh, prove my bravery yet? Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Hmm. 
Why would I want to keep it? Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff's in dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Thank you for all of your help. No more puff skiing dunking for me. All right. We're banging some quests out pretty good. We're doing all right. Nothing serious. Nothing like crazy serious or anything, but we've been banging stuff up. Let's see. Professor Weasley has requested I meet her in the seventh floor corridor of the Astronomy Tower. This is an odd location for a meeting. I wonder what she wants. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to get the Conjuring spell. Vensko Conjuration Spellcraft. Okay. Uh, let's do a little bit of uh, quick... I think I have a spell point too. I can use talent point, but I'm going to leave it for now. We haven't found this one? It's still locked. A howler is an angry letter sent by parents. Oh, okay. Thank you, Ray. Why she'd fuss so much? It was only one page in a book. I'd never fold down a corner in a book. It'd make a fuss too if I were her. There are so many old books in the library. I'd say you'd be hard pressed to find one without a turn page. Oh, I think she goes about repairing them when we're not about. If you look, you'll see their actually... oh, What's a fun game? What? What's a fun game? Finding folded down corners of books in the library. I'm a fucking lunatic with the mask on shooting illegal fire around. Accio. Uh, wrong. Let's go. Rebellion. Seems close. Where are you? Oh, this, that's cool. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. stopped me and I... Merlin's beard! I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. Okay. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked it's past in my pant. Oh. Deke, Professor. The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco. The vanishing spell. Sure. You can cast Evanesco to uh -huh. vanish certain objects, okay. such as these chairs and other things here uh -huh. in the room. 
I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Click, 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 click. A little bit of click of this. All right. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Need more rows. Mm, let's go with, uh, I'll swap this one out for now. Excellent work. Jesus. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Yeah, this game's pretty incredible. Is that goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. I had some quest or something. Well, there was something I could do with the room require. Oh, I think you bring... Is this where you bring items? You don't know what they are? Hey, I waited for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment than you'd expect. Than you'd expected. Let me know if you want to try to meet again. Sincerely, T. But I think this was, if I remember, if we look at the gear... There was questionable things here, and it says to take this to the room of requirement to reveal its qualities. So there must be a thing here to look for. Revelio. <sighs> Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Okay. Take your dress for lobby, says Freeman. Akio. Am I supposed to use that? Where? How old is that? Dude just chomping old tea down. Where are we supposed to put this? Uh, hmm. We do... This still looks too high if I put it there. To go up and over. Is there another ledge somewhere? Accio. Incendio. Oops. Go under where? What do you mean? Wrong place. Is it in this area? Or is it back further? Did I miss something? I'm 
Where's a broom where you need it? Oh, yeah. Did climb. Tilted garb. Is that all we came up here for? Rebellion. This isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not... Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! <laughs> Revelio. Wrong one. Shit. Is there a chest back there we missed? Oh, that's the uh, pole thing. Bit of into the room, thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. Self managed to get around in here. What was that? Levius, was that a golden stitch? Drop it. Levius, Dude, perhaps drop. you uh. should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> I forgot I, uh, upgraded that spell so it levitates as well now. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. What the hell am I doing here? Which side do I want to go? I assume the outside there. Sharpen your floppy wand! A little floppy said underwear. <laughs> Get rid of chair clump. Use the declutter spell. We did all that. Hi, Ian. How you doing? Ian Marsh. Ray. No. Hey, Mac89, the devs of this game outdone themselves with this game. It is amazing. It is true. We've been spoiled with our expectations. So if you hear anybody say, yeah, Harry Potter's all right, you tell them to shut the fuck, right? Just shut your fucking face. Shut your goddamn fake fucking face. Even if it's not your type of game, just... Just tell them to shh, 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 shh. Shh, 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 Can I jump over this? Do, 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 do. I don't know. I want to destroy this. Revelio. Accio. Doo, doo, doo. Come on, you have to be just just turn just. Just get out of the way. Just 
Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Just... Why? Just rotate it. I need... Eh. Fucking piece of shit. I'm just about done. I'm just about to fuck. I'm about to fucking sprint out of this place. Just cram it in. Just. Just fucking spit on it a little and. Just. Just wiggle it in a little. No, where are you going? Down here. Just. Fuck, I think I fucked up. Just okay, no. okay, no, just okay. Okay. Just uh Yeah, you just stay there. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed, it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Don't alert! A Mac 89 throws $22.61 at Floppy Sword's thick juicy thighs. Floppy, you are about to witness one of the deep parts of this game. yourself quite a canvas to work with I look forward to seeing what you do with the space ah and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description excellent it can identify unfamiliar items of clothing one should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed you have unlocked the desk of description. Use it to reveal the magical properties of any unidentified gear that you've collected. A Mac 89 with the 84.99. Thank you so much, Floppy. You are about to witness one of the beat parts of this game. Thank you very much, A Mac. Appreciate it. Yeah, this room looks cool. 
Can I customize this room? Like, uh, is there more that I can add to it and stuff? Thank you very much, AMAC89. Appreciate that. You can change everything? Restorum Dirty Ursero Mikus, says Salem. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Nothing to identify. Oh, did I? At least. Did I just do it? I was looking at chat. Did I just unidentify everything? All right, all right, all right. Ooh. Oh shit. So the trade on it as well. Increased damage by all plants. It's also got a 39 offense on it. So very nice. That's terrifying. All right. I had more, uh, didn't I? Is it an outfit? Oh, okay. Killed the garb. Oh, we got that earlier. That's not the same thing. Inventory. Quest items. Here we got a bathtub note, a note left by someone evidently offended. Okay, yeah, we saw that. Talents. Still got one point, I'll save that for now. Ian Marsh. Hello, mate. First time watching from Liverpool. I'm loving your chill approach to YouTube and very understated and relaxed atmosphere. Thank you very much, Ian. Appreciate you being here. Please consider subscribing, liking the video, and giving me all of your money. <laughs> it won't go to waste. <laughs> Thank you, AMAC, uh, for that dono. Appreciate it. I was thinking maybe washing dishes could be. What are we looking at? I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. Okay. The room might not be the it is. you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Conjuring spell. Okay. Oh shit. What did I hit? Oh, I hit D. My bad. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Ah. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects. What are you talking room, about? Such as the chairs you vanished earlier. There's literally fact, mines you have moonstone on, on the side of the road. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm. Quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. All right, all right, all right. Under a potting table. All right, let's get some 
Get some marijuana growing up in this place. Let's get a party going. I feel like a lot of these students don't know how to party. And we need to get some partying going. Uh, what was that one again? That's the... Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Hi, Steven Gibson. The Slippery Finger sounds like a weird tavern name, but I'd drink there. <laughs> sounds like a rough place to wear a kilt. Items used to brew potions, uh, herbology. Uh, we want the potting table. Let's see where that's at here. Furniture, maybe? Nope, not that one. Scientific witch mannequin, botanical witch, electric witch, gothic witch. I see. Oh, okay. I thought these were actual, like, uh, potions. I see. So, small scientific potion station, small botanical, eclectic, one burner for brewing. Small gothic potions. Sorry, I was just looking at my dogs. I didn't know what they were doing. Uh, so I need a potion station and a... Like, any potion station, I guess? What's this one? Popping pots. Okay. Complete more quests to increase your conjuration budget in the room of requirement. Pretty cool. I hope I, I can move these right at any time. Uh, potting. Scientific potting table with a small pot. Botanical. Are these just styles? They're just styles of it, right? Yeah, let's check out the other styles here. I, I I misunderstood at first. I see. I got you. Right, 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 right. Yeah, there's no way we don't do anything but gothic. There's Yeah. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions. Shut up. I'm not done. Shush, shush, You've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger Bye, Bill. a bit longer in case you'd Thank like you very to much. Appreciate it, man. Spell for use in the room. Have a great night. Have a good one. See you soon. All right. Charlie Foxtrot, I got fired from work because I stuck my finger in the pickle slicer. So did she. 
I was told my son hockey team they lost nine nothing maybe but that he played really well this poor team I feel bad for this team this year all right I want to change the color of this uh, thanks again Bill Brooks appreciate the support have a great night listening to a small hairy listening to small hairy deeks can get you into trouble says Salem floppy kick Robbie in the face for me bro he's beyond you trying to look busy <clears throat> I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. A naked man broke into a church. The police chased him around and finally caught him by the organ. Nicole. <laughs> How do I change the look of this thing? The current one. How do I interact with it? How do I do anything? Oh, did I? It's not even the right way. Shit. I want to move it. I don't know how to change, like, customize it. Interact. Uh, potion, 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 potions. Speak, empty. Huh. Not quite sure. Potting, table, Dittany, Mallow Sweet. Destroy it. Maybe, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you get the moonstones back. Thank you. Good one. Yeah. What just happened? All right, good enough for now. Cool. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. Done. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Done. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Conjure wall decorations. All right. The winged mirror. Oval mirror, long mirror. We got a lot of stuff to unlock. Playing the Sims magic version all of a sudden. There's no, there's like no places. Okay. Can I make it crooked? Conjure, undo, change size. Little, put a little itsy bitsy window or mirror. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. Only one size of that one, I guess. the fuck am I doing? 
Is that it? I just have mirrors? Rugs? Furniture. Can I, let's try some of this. you brood I can connect them I see I don't care if this looks bad <laughs> what else we got here Furniture, decorations, uh, artwork. Okay, here we go. Floor decorations. We'll do. I'll do more of this shit later. I'm just uh, messing around. This is pretty cool, though. If you spend time with it, you could make this look pretty cool. Oh, I have a gothic one. Yeah, we'll have to kill that other one. Good work. Shall we move on? Stop talking to me. I'm not done. Conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Oh, could have used that a bit ago. Oh, uh, wait, make a chair, Sister Mustard. I will get into like the pretty stuff later. I'm not. I don't, I'm not in a decorating mood right now. I just want to kind of go through the quest. Lord Death, fuck that. Bet the shit out of it, floppy brother. <laughs> Nicole, why did the sperm cross the road? Because it was put in the wrong sock this morning. That's a good one. I really like that one. That is a good one. Ian Marsh, you need to shout louder on the sidelines and maybe scare the other team's kids a little bit too. It doesn't hurt it to be proactive. You're not wrong. Too many rules now against yelling at refs and... I mean, in 2023, throwing chairs on the ice is looked down upon for some reason. Dave the Wood Barber, hello all. Kind of a fun fact, the castle the, they use for Hogwarts Castle is 17 miles away from where I live. Its original name is Alnwick Castle, pronounced Anik. Anik Castle. That's cool. You need a class on Feng Shui. I, I wish there was a little bit more. It everything's too snappy. I wish I could uh, a, a bit more control on the design there, but it's it's cool. This game is like a little bit of everything, huh? They cannot believe how many beasts you have here. Boom! Just altering aim spell. Your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. That's cool. I'm glad they added that. It's this one here, right? All right, let's grab. Uh... Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Wait, wait, wait! Can I do? Can I do this? No way! Science, you can get unlock more, huh? Change color. Holy shit!
Damn. Like, you can literally change every wall, eh? Holy shit. Yo, that's cool. It warms my heart to see your interest in pathology, dare I say. I have to unlock the, uh, the other ones. Oops, I didn't save that one. Here, I'm gonna move on from this in a minute. Uh, change the color. Do this, a little bit of this. Oh, you can apply it to all. Yeah, fuck it. I was gonna say, that saves some time. Damn. Okay, yeah, this got pretty cool. Now I see what you're talking about, Ray. Alright, let's do, uh, alter the style of an item. Okay. We'll do this. Uh, change the color, maybe? Damn, you can get really customized here, huh? Uh, alter the style, the style of an item. Didn't we just do that? D cannot believe how many beasts you have here. Change the size. Do that. Uh, the, uh, 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 uh. Do this, a little bit of this. Alter the style of an item. Didn't. Uh, like this style, I think it means. Maybe it means like the whole thing. Nice yeah, there we go. Done. Okay. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Try aiming at the floor or at that balcony whilst using the altering spell. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. God damn. This one's cool. Your spells might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Uh, I'm ready, Deke. Give it to me, Deke. Well, Professor I, I, I need you, Deke. said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? A cool moonlight ambience sounds perfect. I'd like something natural and earthy. Uh, I focus best in a room that is dark and mysterious. Yes, please. I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie. As if I'm in the forbidden forest, surrounded by shadows. Oh, sounds perfect. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. I was just messing around, like, uh, not really trying to make it look good, but that was... That was pretty awesome. An even bigger space. How did that happen? Like, this whole part is really cool, yeah. The room itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. 
Use it wisely. Complete side relationship quest. This is this is uh this is something. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. I haven't brewed anything, dude. You weird little thing. Deke, do you want to have sex with me? <laughs> you cute little thing, huh? Just use you and throw you back in a closet somewhere when I'm done. All right. <laughs> Oh god, I'm getting cancelled sometime on, on this channel, fuck. For sure. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. Well, I think that's good for now, folks. I'm gonna keep it around now. I don't want to stay up super late tonight. I love you all. Thank you so much for the support. Really enjoying this game. I'm gonna try to remember to save right now. Have a great night, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. We should probably be streaming tomorrow. I don't see why not. I think we had some plans, but I should be back for another one. Thank you again, the donos, the tips, all the gifted subs earlier. Enters the room in something a little bit more comfortable, says Ian Marsh. Thanks for being here, Ian. Lord Death, good to see you as always. MD, Nicole, Ledbetter, love your jokes. Happy Valentine's. Hope you all have a great night, a great week as well. Thank you for the mods. Medusa, Buster, Ray, Oxy. Uh, good to see you all. Stitch, it was good to see your name pop up earlier. Hope you're all doing fantastic. Sir Mustard, Salem, have a great one.
Oh, God, do you want to... you want to smoke, Deke? Do you... I'd like to have a smoke afterwards if you... No, you're good.